April 6th, St. Celestine Pope. St. Celestine was a native of Rome, and upon the demise of Pope Boniface, he was chosen to succeed him in September of 422. His first official act was to confirm the condemnation of an African bishop who had been convicted of grave crimes. He wrote also to the bishops of the provinces of Vienne and Narbonne in Gaul, to correct several abuses, and ordered, among other things, that absolution or reconciliation should never be refused to any dying sinner who sincerely asked for it, for repentance depends not so much on time as on the heart. He assembled a synod at Rome in the year 430, in which the writings of Nestorius were examined, and his blasphemes in maintaining in Christ a divine and human person were condemned. The Pope pronounced the sentence of excommunication against Nestorius and deposed him. Being informed that Agricola, the son of a British bishop who had been married before he was raised to the priesthood, had spread the seeds of the Pelagian heresy in Britain, St. Celestine sent thither St. Germanus, whose zeal and conduct happily prevented the threatening danger. He also sent St. Palladius, a Roman, to preach the faith to the Scots, both in North Britain and in Ireland, and many authors of the life of St. Patrick say that the Apostle likewise received his commission to preach to the Irish from St. Celestine in the year 431. This holy pope died on the 1st of August in the year 432, having reigned almost ten years. He was buried in the cemetery of St. Priscilla in the Via Salaria, but his body was moved. It now lies in the Basilica di Santa Prasade. In art, St. Celestine is portrayed as a pope with a dove, dragon, and a flame. Vigilance is truly needful to those to whom the care of souls has been confided. Blessed are the servants whom the Lord at his coming shall find watching.